Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Is there a double standard when it comes to male and females in modern day television, mainly streaming shows? So this will be a rant because this is something that's been getting on my nerves ever since I started watching a lot of like streaming shows and it constantly happens. Now this will be two topics. One topic will be um, kind of like how women degrade men on TV and how men are just always depicted as like villains and villainous and stuff, but that's coming towards the end and it's gonna be brief. The main topic is the one that pisses me off the most. And what is that? Male nudity, AKA naked man booty. So yes, if you have been watching streaming for the past five years or so, maybe a little bit longer, you probably noticed something and that there is a lot, a lot. And I mean a lot of male nudity in these streaming shows, but mostly it's male buck cheats. And you know, it sounds like I said the word cheats, <laughs> but cheek. <laughs> but like, it's weird because like, it doesn't matter what kind of show it is. It could be literally a comedy, a superhero show, of course, an erotic, like mature type show, um, a, a drama, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what kind of show it is on modern day. Oh, even like a slasher type thing. It doesn't matter what it is. You are probably guaranteed to see a male butt in at least one of these shows and stuff. And you will have a naked female in it, but you'll never really see her naked. You'll see like her back or like her legs. But when it comes to the man, you always see the naked man booty. And it's just not no regular man for the most part. Sometimes they're recurring stars, sometimes they're extras. But for the most part, a lot of this naked man booty is the male um, co-star themselves. And it's ironic because when the male, not male, but the, the main female co-star, she won't get naked. And if she does, like I said, you'll just see like her back or her arms or her legs while the male is front and center with the booty sticking out. And I'm really sick and tired of looking at something, being in like an ordinary normal scene and then all of a sudden you see like these like flapping butt cheeks on the camera and everything. And they always, sometimes they'll do it from a far away distance. Sometimes they do it up close and personal. Well, you see the, the, those butt cheeks just are flapping and everything. And my breaking point was the boys season three I just finished. And I could not believe how much male nudity was in that and very grotesque male nudity and stuff like that. And I'm just like, God, you, you tell this is done on purpose. But what's ironic is that it doesn't matter what platform you're watching this on. It's on pretty much every streaming site there is and almost in every television show you see. And it's just kind of like, is this is like a memo that goes out to every in Hollywood where they're all like, all right, we need naked man butt cheeks in our show. And this has to be a requirement for like modern day television. But why? Why? And if you do see a female who is naked and stuff, she's normally not the main actress, not a recurring character, but a background character. Somebody they just bring in who wants to get naked and stuff. And these people are normally like strippers and stuff like that, or models and stuff. And so therefore it does create a double standard. It creates the double standard of, okay, you force the men to get naked and stuff but you don't make the females who are the main actresses on um, leads too. And you know, 
my theory is like this either you have no nudity or you're gonna have both nudity with both people and stuff not just one because it's very bizarre when you see a woman fully clothed getting it on with a man and the man is completely butt naked that really makes no sense and so it defeats the purpose of whatever that scene is for now when it comes to that of nudity um I do feel like it's been like people have been sexualized way too much in um, Hollywood like they have you know what I'm saying and if you're gonna have the nudity in your show or movie it needs to be for a, an important scene and it has to really go with the flow of the story and what you're telling if it's just thrown in there for eye candy then it's pointless and stuff it really is pointless and so like it is bizarre like i said before that like you constantly seeing guys like naked in this because like okay like there's a show i watched called harlots it's been canceled now it lasted for three seasons it's on hulu go watch that it's great plus i talked about it in one of um, my videos go watch that and so harlots is about female prostitution back in like the 14 or 1500s right so okay you're thinking to yourself all right so you're expecting to see duh like some clickety clacking going on and like um this show because it's about prostitution it's like all right well you're expecting to see probably some nudity here and there right okay fine but you only see male butt cheeks and i kid you not I kid you not like throughout the entire run of those three seasons all you see is male booty if you do happen to see a nude female and this is very rare she will literally just be an extra and like i said before it's rare like this really is none and it's odd i think maybe you'll see like boobs or something like that maybe but not really and it's by none of the main like leads of the show and that's just very bizarre so there, so there's literally a system put in play the way the female can't be shown but the male is same thing happened to i can't i think i can't remember what this show was called i recently just got through talking about it it's on roku tv app um karen Kieran Shipka is in it as the lead. It's an erotic like thriller and stuff. And so it's very over sexualized and but they only show like a naked man and he's one of the leads in the show. They do show a female who is nude, but she is an extra in their thing. And so with this erotic thriller and how like extremely sexualized Kieran Shipka is my God, I could not believe the thing she did you think you'll probably see something from her and i'm not expecting like to see nothing from her the actress get a body double or something like that but you don't even see that and there's one time there's like a threesome between two women and a guy and all you see is the male butt cheeks and stuff and it's just kind of like what that don't make no sense and why is the woman completely clothed is he like busting through like her pants or something like that? Is it that strong? <laughs> and it's really disgusting because I don't like men, men. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't find men attractive. I support people and their sexuality, but I just don't find men attractive. Men are gross. I'm a man. I'm gross. I know how gross we can be. I don't want to see something I don't like. However, I am okay with seeing it if there's a um, equality going on in everything like if the females get nude too and stuff and you know but you're wondering how did this all start well it's revenge pretty much it's revenge because you have to go and know your history so let's have a nice little history lesson shall we let's go back to old school tv things from back in like say the 70s on up to the early 2000s 70s 80s 90s and 2000 era what did you see 
female nudity and everything. But you mainly only saw it in movies. You didn't see it in TV because TV is broadcast TV and they have censors. So they weren't going to let that fly. And so like... But in syndicated TV shows, you will see the occasional nip slip, like in Acapulco Heat, the first season. And like Xena, they had like stand-ins to show like Gabrielle and Xena's butt, and they show that. In Highlander, the television series, there can only be one, and he showed his butt cheeks and everything. And so something like that was slip in syndication, because they had a little bit more freedom. But for the most part, you never saw nudity in like television. It was mostly relegated to movies. And yes, women were degraded back in the day in those movies. There are so many actresses that I'm a fan of and everything, and they were always asked to get naked in the movie. And then if they got naked in one movie, well, director and producer be all like, well, since you know you got naked in that movie, go get naked in this movie too. And then this movie, and then this movie. And then it started to become a problem. It was only there for the amusement of men and everything. Horny men. Why? One, because they're horny and they just want to see a woman naked. And two, sex sells. And women got to the point where they're like, you know what? We're tired of getting naked in movies and stuff. It's not fair because they were the only ones getting in there. Um, not getting in there. <laughs> they were the only. I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> they were the only ones getting naked in the movies. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> and stuff. And the men weren't in everything. Occasionally, you'll see like a man butt, probably. You know what I'm saying? But not really. And so, like, women got really sick and tired of being degraded. And they got tired of being typecast by being that one actress who will always get naked in movies. And there's a, and then this mostly is, um, goes to older actresses. Actresses who are in their 50s and stuff. But even those that are in their 40s get affected by that, too. And I'll get to her in a little bit later. And there's, like I said, there's a lot of actresses that I like. But for the most part, some of them only got, like, topless for, say, like, one movie or something like that. And never again. The first boobs I ever saw were back in the 80s for White Man Can't Jump with um, Rosie Perez and everything. And there was no other nudity in that entire movie, not even from a man. So it was literally done for the benefit of getting people like stiff and everything and horny because sex sells and they're like hey you might not like this movie probably but hey there's some boobs in it and so i feel like now that i'm mature and grown up and i'm a grown man i'm no longer a kid or like a teenager i'm like you know what it was pointless for her to get nude in that movie and stuff it served absolutely no purpose whatsoever and there's another actress i remember um kieran Rohr or something i can't say her last name um K K kari war from sliders and stuff she has done a lot of nudity in b-list type movies and stuff and you know and it was kind of like okay like it was well, one thing it was required because you know she was making love with this one dude so i get they wanted to do that now you can always work around nudity you can either get like a body double or you can just do like the bad do tv sex scenes you know what i'm saying you don't always have to get a person like naked and whatever but if the i feel like if the story truly truly requires it then fine do that you know what i'm saying like and as long as um both stars are okay as long as both stars are showing and everything because i feel like when you only have one person show and not the other it's completely messed up and like I said before, again, typecast the Yellow Galaxy Ranger. After Power Rangers, she did her first nude scene, which was in Not Another Teen Movie, where she just showed her boobs and everything. And it's a deleted scene where she shows her butt. And so after that, guess what happened? Pretty much every movie she starred in, they kept wanting her to get naked till she finally stood up for herself and she said, no, she's not doing it no more and stuff. And the last, I can't remember the last time she did it in, but I remember she was in this movie. I can't remember the name of the movie. Um, she's in some horror movie, like something Cabin. 
And I don't particularly like that movie, especially how they use the N word in the beginning of the movie, like the first scene. Like, come on, man. Some old hick racist type dude. But the movie, in my opinion, just wasn't like my cup of tea. I didn't understand what the world was going on. Like, I really didn't. And so it's a very confusing horror movie, in my opinion. Um, and so she had to fight with the director. He wanted her to show more nudity during the sex scene. She's like, no, I'll show like a little butt crack and everything, but that's about it. So they went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So they finally came to an agreement. And it's pretty a shame that she had to like literally fight just to keep her clothes on and everything. Now, him and her are still friends to this day, the director guy and everything. But it's pretty bad. Like, once she said no the first time, that should have been it. And to be completely honest with you, nudity wasn't even required in this movie during that, like, love scene. Like, it really wasn't. He just did it just to get people's rocks off and everything. So, I totally get why people are upset and feel degraded and won't like revenge like i get that like i'm not stupid you know what i'm saying and everything like i totally get that and everything because this was only done for the amusement of like men and so like but here's the thing with modern day television like around the me too era they, they women really started like staying up for themselves again which they shouldn't have to because men were supposed to evolve back in the day and be better, but they wasn't. And so because men decided to stay the crappy ways that they wanted to stay and the like massages type ways that they wanted to, women had to stand up for themselves again and get justice for themselves. And thank God they did. They put a lot of bad people away. And so this is supposed to be a teaching moment, the whole Me Too era, right? But now this is a problem. If the Me Too era is supposed to be a teaching uh, moment, if women getting nude in movies back in the day was so degrading and they didn't like it, then why now all of a sudden they're doing the reverse and doing it with men? Like, why exactly? Two wrongs don't make a right. If you said this was wrong back in the day, and it's to the point where women have now said they're no longer going to do it because now you see there's a problem because it really served no purpose for them to get like nude in like a movie. And a lot of these women, the reason why they said yes is because if they didn't, they wouldn't be in the movie because the male directors and producers threatened to fire them. And also they was afraid they didn't do it. They would not have a career after that movie and stuff. So they did it. And a lot of these women still don't have careers today. So, you know, but they did back in those days. And see, it was like a game these men were playing. It was like they were holding them hostage, their careers hostage and stuff. But here's the thing, like I said before, if you know that's wrong back in the day, if you know that's not acceptable, if you know um, it's pointless, then why in the world are you doing it today in modern day streaming? It's almost, it's the revenge game, but it's okay. So like, okay, whatever you had your fun now, stop it. Cause now you're teaching people that when somebody does something bad to you in the past, you do something bad to them in the future and you keep on doing it. How is this supposed to be a teaching lesson to all the young boys and the young girls living in today that are supposed to take our places, um, 10 to 20 years from now, you know? So you have to ask yourself that, but modern day television doesn't care. They're just like, oh, so modern day television think they're getting justice for all the women back in the day who had to get nude in like movies and stuff like that. And they did for the first start. Like I was okay with it in the beginning because I understood, but now we have moved past this and it's still happening. And you know, if you truly want justice for them, just stop having pointless nudity in like your stuff. Like I was watching, um, I know what you did last like some of the TV series and there was a lot of sex scenes in that. And there was a, um, a one huge nude scene and they went very hardcore with their clickety clacking and stuff. And so like, I've already talked about that, but then, you know, like the, 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 the one love scene, these two people got completely butt naked and they were showing like a lot, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like. 
if the actresses were okay with this and the reason why they probably did this because this was a lesbian love scene and that's something very rare you will see so they probably wanted to be like icons probably to show hey you know um even though i'm probably not okay with nudity you know this is for like the lgbt so if they're okay with that and that scene calls for that then fine you know what i'm saying there's a latino show called vita that um only lasted for two seasons and whoo there's a lot of nudity in that both male and female i was not expecting that now it's not streaming it's, it's like on a um, cable network it's on streaming now and you know um I thought about that later when I get into the actual show because I'm almost done watching the show. But then there was a show called Flack. It's on Amazon Prime. And in the first couple of seconds of watching that, I was like, ah, because not only would this make it man booty, but there was Shillelagh to go along with it. And I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that and I'm just like what was the point in him being that way they could have just showed like his chest and his stomach and they could have showed his legs but they didn't have to show all that and they just did it be like ha we're getting revenge on you men and everything like that and it's like why 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 and you know there was a scene um in creamery that's on hulu which is a good show go watch that i think it got renewed for a second season i'm pretty sure it did and then the ending here's the thing that's a show about a virus that took out the male population now there are still some men alive but when they are they're being hunted down and they're put in these laboratories so they can make sperm now because you know with every virus is always an immunity so there were some men that survived and in one of the last scenes, it was the grossest thing I ever saw. Basically, it was a bunch of men strapped down in a chair with these um, um, tubes and machine things attached to their shillelagh pumping them for their sperm as they were watching porn. And yeah, you saw the naked women in the porn. And so, like, but that was one of the nastiest things I ever saw. They didn't have to show it. But, you know, I guess, okay, whatever to tell the type of story you wanted to tell okay fine but that was just too graphic and gross they really didn't have to show that they could have like you know like you know cheat around that and everything and with that it's like you know with the women because there's nothing but women on the show you think you would see like naked women and stuff like that especially when they make love to each other there's nothing but a world full of women yeah, women make love, but you don't see them like naked. So if there was no point in showing that for an important scene, then was it really important to show the men getting pumped by like a sex machine and everything? Ugh, I forgot all about that. And I just put that image back in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so my rant and argument that's been going on for 20 something minutes is like, look, you had your fun. You had your revenge. Why are you still getting it? I don't understand it. Like, why are you still doing it? It's pointless. It's degrading. You know it's degrading. That's why y'all stopped doing this um, in the beginning. And I don't understand that, you know? Because, like, take, like, the boys. In all three seasons, the third season is the first time you ever saw some real female, like, nudity. And in the other season before, it was always men. And there was that one brief scene in season one, but that was mostly just like on a video than watching porn, you know, and it's kind of like, okay, look, if the thing does not like require somebody to get naked, then you don't have to like take American Pie, the first American Pie. You have female nudity in that, but you have no male nudity, right? Now the female nudity there was a specific, now you do have a little bit of male nudity. You see Jim's butt when he's doing the pie. And I felt like both those two scenes are justified. Um, what's his name showing his butt cheeks and the actress showing her boobs. Because of the fact that the pie scene is to show this dude is so horny and he's never had none, he will get it wherever he can. So you literally had to show the graphic nature of him humping the pie. As for the um, female nude scene, 
the reason why that happened is because he's horny. He's never seen boobs. He wanted to see boobs. He wanted to touch this, all that crap. And he's this ultra nerd. Like he literally cannot get a woman to save his life. And, you know, he finally got to see what he always wanted to see. So I felt like that was an important scene. I wish they probably could have just used like a model or something like that or like an extra instead of using the main actress. But, you know, it is what it is. And so in the next movie she appeared in, she said, plain and simple, she's not doing it no more. And good for her. She shouldn't have to. Now this scene is no longer required. And there's no point for her showing nudity. Since then, the, the dude who plays Jim, he's been showing his butt cheeks in every movie since and everything he's taken one for like the team and everything and so i'm okay with that and everything though i don't like seeing it i'm okay with that because you know um he is the main lead and he's the, like the goofy one and all this other crap and we post to see his experiences of his like sexual growth and everything and all his blunders so it makes sense for him to show that now in the fourth movie the true fourth movie none of that direct the dvd stuff I, I don't consider that american pie that's just something else that's american crumbs <laughs> <laughs> But like in the fourth movie, the reunion one, he shows his shillelagh in that, which I did not want to see. But they did have some equality in there. Not only did he show his butt cheeks and then another dude showed his butt cheeks and then he showed his shillelagh, but there was a woman who got topless as well. So at least there was some equality in there. They let you say, hey, look, you're not alone. We got your back. This person's going to get naked with you. And that's how it should be. Either there should be no nudity or both partners should be like naked to show like, look, yo, I got your back and everything and everything. And because it is kind of weird how like if there is a sex scene with a woman, you always see her on top of a man riding, but you never see like her butt or nothing else like that. So her butt's always covered up by like a sheet or the man hands or something. But then as soon as he turns her over, boom, it's naked man booty. So you can't say this is the grading in the past if you're willing to show it in the future but just with a different like gender and stuff it ain't gonna fly like that now let's get into how men and women are being portrayed how women are always popping off the mouth on the mouth towards men at first i didn't have a problem with it i get why it is um, it's to show women being strong it's to show more so little girls being strong so they can stand up for themselves and older women who don't stand up for themselves for them to stand up for themselves i was okay with it i was fine with it until it's the, it keeps on going and going and going and going with every show you see now now for the most part i really don't care that much but it does get annoying when it's constantly happening, you know? But the only reason why it's constantly happening and you noticing it because people online are making you notice it when people complain about it. Because think about it. Women have been doing this in their real lives since the beginning of time. Women just happen to pop off the men. Women happen to just degrade men. It happens. And... It's happened in TV from back in the day. Xena, Gabrielle, they always ran off the mouth to men. Max from Dark Angel. Um, Tessa from Queen of Swords. Um, trying to, oh, Peggy Bundy, Kelly Bundy, and Marcy Darcy. Like, did they not degrade men on their shows? Did they not question men? Did they not contradict men? Did they not degrade men? They did. And nobody had a problem with that back in the day. So if you didn't have a problem with it back in the day, why you got a problem with it now? The only problem with it now is that it's constant. And I get why they're doing it. It's because women used to always play these ditzy roles, the dumb secretary role, uh, the shut up and speak when a man talking to you role. Like, but that was during a different time era, like in the 1950s and 60s, when that crap was common. So that's a generational thing. So that's why you saw that on TV a lot. Like, go look at the um, unaired pilot of Star Trek, The Cage. And you will see Pike degrade number one because she's a woman on the bridge. And he doesn't feel comfortable having a woman on the bridge. And that's only because it was written back in the 60s. And men were complete jerks back then. So that's a generational thing. 
And so, but you know, you constantly kept seeing it in like the 80s and the 90s a little bit where the men always were front and center being like hero and the women were not or like damsel in distresses. So now the roles got reversed, uh, reversed and like more women are taking more leads and like superhero type stuff and, and, and spy type stuff and that's fine. I don't got a problem with that. Um, but I do have a problem when they purposely degrade men in a very demeaning way in their thing. That's a little bit too much. It's okay every once in a while, but when they constantly do it, and when you constantly see it on different shows, then it gets to be annoying and everything. Because even when the men were front and center in all those projects back in the day, they never really degraded women to the point where they felt like slime you know what i'm saying and the thing about the writing in modern day television is that they're making the men feel like slime and they have to remember not all men are jerks and you also have to remember young people are watching this so how a young boy is gonna grow up thinking oh well you know i suck because i'm a man and everything you know what i'm saying and so that's the problem in itself now there is one scene in A League of Their Own, the 2022 series I just got through reviewing. I was really upset about a scene that happened in the show. I don't know if I talked about it or not. I had to edit like at least 10 minutes out that video because it got too long. And it's hard to like save videos that big and it takes too long to upload. So I had to like cut some stuff out. But, like, if I didn't talk about it, I'm talking about it now. So, Max, she is the um, LGBT character. She doesn't like men. She is a tomboy. She knew she was a lesbian since 17 years old. But then there's a point in her life now where she's starting to realize, I think I want to be a man. This is back in 1943. And so, she's contemplating... Is something now wrong with her this and that so what she does is that throughout the first half of the season she's constantly using this one guy to get what she wants right and there's no repercussions to her using that guy she gets to the point where he could have lost her his job because of her but she don't care and so as long as she gets what she wants right and so then there's a scene where she's conflicted she's kind of like what are these feelings going on with me like, I know I like women, but maybe I should start trying to like men. Oh, and I'm turning into a man. So what she does is that she goes to this guy place that she constantly uses for other stuff. And she, he, she knows he likes her. She knows that. That's why she's going to him. And so she's all like, take off your pants and blah, 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 stuff like that. And he's all like, are you sure you want to do this? Because you keep acting like you don't like me and stuff. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like you. I like you. So then they start doing it, right? And so as they're doing it, I kid you not, within 10, 15, or 20 seconds, he exploded. <laughs> and she is just revolted by this. She's just kind of like, okay, I made up my mind now. I hate men and I like women. And so not only was that degrading, they wrote that in as a joke which was a, a, a low, like a, just a low down, low bro, like just like a, a um, type shot, you know what I'm saying, towards men. But you know what made the icing on the cake? He started to go to sleep after he exploded. Yeah, they went to that cliche old fashioned joke, which yeah, a lot of men do, but he's not an old man in his 40s. He's in his 20s for crying out loud. So after he exploded, he went to sleep. And she just kind of looks at him just like, uh-uh, I'm out. And she starts getting dressed. And he's like, where you going, baby? And she's all like, I'm done. This is never happening again. And she just like gets on out of there. Making him think, what the heck just happened in there thing? Now, like I said before, this is 1943. And I guess, like, you know, a lot of men, they get theirs and then they go to sleep. And they all want to get a woman theirs. And that's how a lot of men were taught. But still, why would you show this on television just to embarrass the guy like they literally wrote that in to like embarrass him to embarrass him 
And then that made up her mind to be like, oop, nope, I hate men and I love women. And so now when she does turn into a lesbian, you think that he's all like, oh crap, she turned into one cause of me, but then he's totally okay with it and fine and just brushes it off and everything. And I wouldn't be pissed at this scene if it was written better. If it was written to where he got too overly excited, he came, but then he's embarrassed for himself. He's like, oh, you know, I'm sorry and everything like i didn't mean to like do that and you know now you can't get yours and like he's being sympathetic like you know like, he's being ap apologetic and, like you know i'm sorry i'm sorry and she'd be like you know that's that's, that's, that's all right you know i guess these things happen and stuff she wouldn't know because she's never been with a man and that would have been a much better scene and you know you can still embarrass him that way without having to degrade him but everything else was just like degrading so there is a double standard nowadays when it comes to television which i get why it happened in the beginning but why is it still constantly happening now that is the problem this is supposed to be a teaching moment and the only thing you're teaching is that like men can be exploited and men can be embarrassed and you gotta think about the young dudes growing up how is that gonna happen for their self-esteem if they have no strong male leads to like look up to you know and you know there needs to be some kind of like balance with all of this that's how i've always felt even since i've been younger you know i've always felt like there need to be balance it shouldn't just have to be one person to get naked or one person to be like made fun of there needs to be some type of common like camaraderie some type of like equalness you know what i'm saying and at some point it just has to stop because it really does you know Alrighty. well i'll talk to y'all later bye